Good morning everyone. In previous videos we have discussed a problem related to design of tension members with respect to plate section. So in this problem we will discuss a problem with respect to angle section. The question is a single angle 100 mm into 100 mm into 8 mm connected to a gazette plate at the ends with the 20 mm diameter bolts with the connection length of 200 mm to transfer tension determine the tensile capacity of a joint. So that the diagram is given a gazette plate connected with 100 into 100 into 8 mm. So this is gazette plate and this is angle section. So for this gazette plate and angle section is connected with a fine number of bolts with a pitch distance of 50 and edge distance as 40. So the center to center distance between the bolts is given as LC 200. So as usual we have to find uh, the tensile capacity of the joint. So the tensile capacity of a joint is the least of cross section of yielding due to rupture and due to block shear. So let us find one by one that is uh, the design strength due to yielding of cross section is given by formula Tdg is equal to Ag of i divided by gamma m0. So this formula is same like previous problem. So Ag is given by uh, for 100 into 100 into 8 mm. So for 100, 100 into 100 into 8 mm. So for this section 100 into 100 into 8 mm from steel table we will get area AGS 1539 mm square. So 15 uh, 1539 mm square is the area for 100 into 100 into 8 mm. So FI is 250 gamma m0 is 1.1. So if you substitute we will get uh, the design strength due to yielding as 349.77 kilo newton. So this is first strength. Next thing is to find uh, the design strength due to rupture. Remember the design strength due to rupture is different for angle section. So previous problem we have calculated for plate section the formula was different. So all formulas are there in ISA 100 2007 page 32 and 33. So the formula for net section due to rupture is different for angle section. The formula is Tdn is equal to 0.9 Fe A and C divided by gamma ml plus beta AgO Fy divided by gamma m0. Where A and C is nothing but net area, AG was nothing but cross area. A and C is nothing but here that is uh, net area for connected leg and gross area for outstanding leg. Now what is this connected leg and outstanding leg? If you see angle section, the leg which is free, this is outstanding leg. The leg which is connected to a gazard plate with the help of a bolt, this is connected leg. Okay. Now if I want to find the areas, area of net area for connected leg and cross area for outstanding leg. So how to find this one? So very simple. The area for connected leg is this one. So this is this length from here from center to center length. So if this is the angle section, always we have to take from here to center of this length. Okay. So the length is 100 mm minus since this is a net area since this is a net area we have to deduct the bolt hole so if i want the area of this one so 100 minus the bolt hole bolt is of diameter 20 mm of diameter of bolt hole will be 22 minus half the thickness half the thickness by 2 half the thickness so into t so this area is if I write in simplification, this whole one will be B into T. B into T is area. Where B is L minus D naught minus T by 2. That is in this length. So in this length we have to take from here to this center. So in 100 you minus 8 by 2 minus bolt hole so that you will get the net area not gross area that is area of uh, connected leg if you want the area of outstanding leg so for outstanding leg 
you need not to dig a bolt hole so from this center to here that is 100 minus uh, what is this 8 by 2 so this will give you a width into 100 minus 8 by 2 into 8 So 100 minus 8 by 2 into 8 so that is net area and uh, this is cross area so remember this one how to calculate net area and cross area for uh, net area you have to deduct bolt hole for uh, outstanding leg it is free so directly you can write l minus t by 2 why is it is t by 2 so t by 2 is this one always we have to take center for this one and for here from here to center so this thickness you have to minus that is center to center so substitute in beta formula beta formula is also there in code book 1.4 minus 0.076 w by t into fi by fu into bs by lc where w is the the width of uh, outstanding leg the width of outstanding leg is 100 and uh, we want a t we know 100 into 100 into 8 t is 8 fy and fu fy we know is 250 fu is 410 bs bs formula is there in code book what is bs formula bs is w plus wl minus t w is 100 what is wl so this wl wl is very important so this wl will get from sp6 so sp6 code book will be given to you so for 100 mm connected leg for 100 mm connected leg so this 60 is wl the wl will be given from sp6 so minus t so bs we got so if you substitute beta value so if you substitute here and lc is also given center to center distance between the bolts is 200 so we got beta 0 0.96 always remember it should be greater than 0 0.7 <coughs> it should be greater than 0 0.7 and it should be less than 1.4 so this beta value you substitute in tdn formula i hope all values we got so substitute here we will get the design strength due to rupture as 342.32 kN. so this is second third we have to find the block shear as discussed in previous problem due to the block shear the bolts gets cut at the edge half bolt gets cut so see if i write the block shear diagram for this diagram the diagram is like this 1 2 3 4 and fifth one is half bolt gets cut so this is the block shear diagram for angle section so like previous problem you have to calculate avg avn atg atn where v is shear and t is tension so shear is in x direction so this direction is shear and this direction is tension okay so what is av av is nothing but full if you take a cross area across shear a V G V is nothing but shear G is nothing but cross area so if you assume it as rectangle so LV into T gives you 240 into 8 so if you add you will get LV as 240 into 8 you will get uh, the cross area if you want net area you have to deduct bolt hole so since this is not a solid it consists of a bolt hole so 1 1 1 1 and at the corner it is half so 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 and half. So 4, 1 and half bolts hole you have to deduct in net area. So LV that is in uh, 240 you minus 4.5 D naught into T. So this is what net area. I hope you followed what is uh, gross area and net area. Next thing is to find uh, the area across the tension that is one more direction. So that is uh, LT this distance 
this distance uh, we will get uh, when we are finding WL. WL uh, we have found out as 60. This is 60 and this remaining distance is what 40. So this we have taken as this we have taken as LT. So 40 into 8 will get a gross area in a net area if you want you have to deduct half volt here that is a 40 into minus 0.5 into 22 into 8 so we will get the net area so substitute AVG AVN ATG ATN in two formulas block shear formula has two formulas so TDB1 and TDB2 that formula is already we have discussed in a previous problem so if you substitute all these four areas in TDB1 and TB, TDB2 we will get uh, in TDB1 we got 320.42 and TDB2 we got 264.98 so the least of these two is uh, this one so I will take uh, the block shear strength as 264.98 question is to find the tensile uh, strength of a angle section so it is the least of three so the least of uh, cross yielding, rupture and block shear so the block shear value is the least value so this is what the tensile carrying capacity of an angle section so this is the formula this is the problem related to the design of tension members with respect to angle section remember the design strength due to rupture for angle section is different when compared to plate section